We are on the start of our seven day island camping. So I'm just going to put some of this delicious sauce on. All right, guys, welcome back to the Wet Mammal channel. On today's episode, we're getting stuck into a bit of island camping. This is part one of a seven part series, so stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, and enjoy the adventure. Today, we're doing things a little bit different because we decided to go for a dive before we even went on our adventure. This is because we wanted to make the most of having access to a boat before we had no boat dive days for seven days. It's an absolutely amazing reef that we headed out to with plenty of fish, plenty of life, and yeah, just an awesome way to start the day and set ourselves up for our adventure. Now, these are definitely one of my favorite creatures to encounter in the water in Fiji. This is the oscillated ray, and I was blessed with not only getting to chill with one friendly ray, but shortly after, it multiplied and there were two absolutely stunning rays and I'm pretty sure they were different to the first but then it gets even better because of the two shortly multiplied into three stunning rays. I absolutely love how chilled these guys are and the way that they move in the water is just absolutely amazing. And not only do I find them absolutely mesmerizing, but I completely envy the fluidity of these creatures and the way they move. Unfortunately, the GoPro was mounted slightly down on this drop and I managed to catch a moo slacking, which is quite rare. So I managed to pop him off on the drop shot. Unfortunately, I shot him on his lap line, but yeah, it's not ideal typically try and go for a headshot to avoid any spoiled meat or fractured bones into the flesh but beautiful specimen of a moo onto the boat and that one was given to the captain Jerry to say thanks for taking us out on the boat here's actually a video of me shooting a small tooth jobfish um, Mon shot one on this dive but she didn't have her GoPro turned on and dramas with the GoPro as usual and yeah this is just a clip from another day on a different dive and me popping a small tooth but as you can see here this is Mon's first ever small tooth job fish so we had to eat that and give Jerry the captain the moo all right gang so we are on the start of our seven day island camping and it's not island survival it is island camping we've got heaps of home comforts um it's still going to be a bit rough but i mean it's not bare bones here we go so we've got backpack full of goodies some more goodies 40 liters of water then we've got the treasure chest that is our supplies and there's some clothes in there as well <laughs> So we've got Diver Mon, Hello. who will be joining. Yeah. How do you feel about seven days? Um, I think it'll be fine. We got lots of stuff, so it'll be easy. It'll be easy, it'll be she reckons. Easy. Reckon. And then we got a pot for fish. So yeah, it's not going to be like pure survival. Um, we're not taking any fish with us, obviously. Actually, no, that's a complete lie. We're taking one fish that Mon shot today, a shot a little rusty jobby. So that'll be coming with us. It's been raining heaps here um, today. The outlook isn't looking too great. We're definitely going to cop some more wind and rain as well over the first like three days. Um, but look, it's all part of the adventure. It's all part of being in the nature. You don't always get pristine conditions. Um, we're going to have an absolute blast. So yeah, come with. It is absolutely hammering it down with rain. But if you can see out there, Plenty, plenty rain. We are now ready to go, so here we are. 
You ready? Yep. Going, going, going. We've got this, and then we've got our ski and 40 litres of water. So we're there for seven days, so it's about three litres a day per person, including washing and cooking. So we're going to be on water rations, but we've got coconuts to make up for that. Here we have Namiya come and fix up. So we'll load onto the boat and then we'll head. Could this just become camp? Maybe. Looks like it's already been camped for somebody else, so it could very well be camp for us. Love it! camera probably that's us here we are this is going to be home We've got a fire pit already made so that's happy days it's obviously been used as a camp before i'm not surprised because it's an absolutely gorgeous island and um, yeah no drone on this trip annoyingly because of um i broke my drone controller which is a bit sad but um it's not gonna matter i imagine We've got three days of rough weather, so kind of what we had today. So it's going to be heaps of showers, heavy showers, and then heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps of wind. So we're on the protected side. We were supposed to be camping on the other side, but the wind's like 40k. It's just yeah, absolutely blowing titties. So we'll avoid that. But we're going to turn this into camp. We're going to clear away some of those leaves, dry up some of those leaves so we've got stuff to start burning. And uh, yeah, erect the tarps and the hammocks and we'll go from there you guys are gonna love this now we're pretty quick into setting up the camp because of we've only got a small weather window to do so before the rain comes in mon gets to work straight away clearing lovely ground this is not only going to make it safer for us to walk on as we can see what we're stepping on but it should actually keep a few of the mosquitoes and critters at bay whilst we're camped up here so i set up a couple of tarps and then the hammocks, Mon continues the <laughs> clearing duties and makes it safe by getting rid of bits of dead coral, things that you really just don't want to be stubbing your toe on first thing in the morning, creating a cut, creating an infection and then game over. So yeah, we lie down a tarp um, and then load in our bags, the esky, our dive gear and that's camp. Alrighty gang, so yeah, as you will have seen, time lapse. I don't know if I put funny music to it or not, but we've uh, established camp, so here's what she looks like. We've got a small drying area. I'm actually gonna make a drying rack a bit later. Um, and as you can see, we've moved a bit of the foliage off the floor. I've got no problem in doing this because it was a pre-existing campsite. When we leave, we'll move the leaves back over, but yeah. Usually very, very strong advocate of leave no trace and we'll do our best to do that here, but it was already a campsite, so you can only do with what you work with. But we've got Mon's sleeping area, so she's lucky enough to get not sandy feet when she goes to bed. Um, unfortunately for me, I will get sandy feet when I go to bed, which sucks. I just have to clean them up. But yeah, so we've got the Esky with our food, another little drying station, we're going to line this 
cooking area with stones and dead coral just to make sure that like the fire doesn't actually outbreak and just try and ensure that we're being responsible with these fires um it's not going to be a drama over the next two or three days because we're going to get heaps wet but i mean yeah got to take precautions then we've got our lovely gear area here it's got a bit of shade on it but the sun will catch it so that just means that our gear won't get like absolutely blasted with uv but it will get enough light to dry out in the day um, and it's just a cool cool little rock there's the outside very whoa did you see that big ship holy there's a big old yacht out there that is awesome it's tenders rolling like 10 meters behind it which is a bit funky but um yeah that's pretty cool so yeah we've got heaps going on around here heaps and heaps of coconut shoots so we're going to get into those for sure then we've got my area which is just a small little hammock and then a little hammock underneath or tarp should i say and then uh we've got our water over there so again like we're all set up this isn't an island survival as such this is we've got food we've got water and we're just going to live in the wild because of why wouldn't you it's absolutely brilliant um i'm obviously in fiji and this is an incredible incredible place i'm very very grateful to tay to to jerry everyone who's been involved in like getting this thing organized and even though the weather's made us change our plans a little bit um incredibly grateful and honored that they've given me the privilege of coming to an island like this which they don't just give to everyone um so yeah massive thank you guys you guys are awesome and yeah hope you enjoy this video mon what do you think of camp so far i think it's pretty cool for like an hour work somewhere yeah yeah it's quite good it's quite good it's quite good anything that you would change really um a better drying rack actually better drying rack at the moment it's just a tree so we'll, we'll do that later we'll build one we'll build one what's your favorite part of the camp my favorite part of the camp is probably the hammock area it's quite cool it's pretty cool yeah we just gotta hope that there's no mosquitoes we haven't stayed on this island before so yeah just going to ensure that there's no mozzies there looks like there's going to be mozzies but we'll get a fire going and we'll try and get some wet stuff on the fire and that should take care of the mosquitoes that will produce a nice amount of smoke and bugger off all the mozzies this is one of the best snacks that you can find in the bush especially in the south pacific wherever there's coconuts sure as hell there will eventually be oh. coconut shoots and what lies in here is just absolute treasure. Come here. Okay, so watch this. Okay, now in here, we've got the delicious coconut shoot. Get rid of those bits, it's a bit of a mess. But this stuff is super, super tasty. It's literally coconut candy floss. Super sweet, very juicy, and it has like the texture of a foam that just kind of dissolves. Very good, Mom. Quite nice. Quite nice. <laughs> Quite nice. All right, and then on the outside of the coconut, we've just got very, very meaty, meaty chunks. These are great for cooking with. 
and just great as a like nice snack. Mmm. That is so good. Now we won't take too many of these, even though they're super delicious, because of it's how coconuts regrow. And if we go through and just strip every single one of them, there's not going to be any future coconuts. So, super tasty, but be responsible. What's she up to? She's getting the rusty jobby that I got today. He's going to be dinner tonight. Going to go on the fire. We don't have a fire grill thingy though, so I think we'll just use a giant clam shell. What do you think? Sounds like a good plan. I'm going to go look for some firewood. As expected, we have plenty of rain. So, our fire situation might not happen. But we do have dry timber behind me. I collected some up and I've got it stored there, so that's good. So as soon as this, like, hopefully it is just a shower, as soon as this passes us over, then uh, I can get outside, try and get a fire going, and hopefully have some hot food for dinner. If not, we might be having a raw fish, or maybe we'll save it for tomorrow and just eat some coconuts. Let's see. It's been about an hour. What's going on over in your camp? Washing my sandy feet. Washing your sandy feet, doing this. If I was a bit, if I was a bit more flexible, I'd be able to do that for me. But unfortunately, my uh, spout is about here. Oh, maybe I can do it off that end. No, it's abysmal. Ah, this is all goodness. The Wet Mammal channel has changed. It's definitely changed. It's a bit dark. Everything's quite wet. It's in the going. Trying to. A hard task to do. Well, the fin's kind of kept it a bit dry. You guys probably can't see me. Maybe you can down here. I don't want to jinx this, but I only managed to go and get a fire going after like tropical rain. No fuel, just, I used a lighter, so I cheated a little bit. But yeah, no fuel or anything, just sticks, leaves, and a uh, bit of knowledge. We have fire. Yoo-hoo-hoo. All right, so we're gonna go and cook up the rusty joby. Got that island aesthetic going. And then we'll put them on top. Never cooked a fish in a clam shell before, so we'll see how good he goes. And we'll probably leave him on there for like 30 minutes, maybe. We'll see. So the rusty job fish is cooking up nicely. And then what are we up to, Mum? Well, we're gonna make a bit of an island style sauce for him. So today on the island, we had a little walk around and we found this pawpaw. So we're gonna make a pawpaw 
and lime. I don't think these are actually limes, they're like mini mandarin things, but they taste the same. So we'll add them to the sauce. Oh yeah, super ripe. It'll be perfect for the sauce. Super easy to mash up. Scrape out all these seeds because they're quite bitter and we don't want that in the sauce. Got a clamshell and we're gonna just scoop in some of this papaya. And I wanna do it a little bit quick because it has just started to rain again. So our nice pause in the rain has come to an end. And yeah, look at that papaya, so ripe. It's gonna be perfect. Taste some. Mmm, it's good. The job fish cooking up nicely. Alright. So just do the second half now. So I'm just gonna squeeze the wild Fijian lime into the papaya. Just give them a good squish. You can already smell how strong that is. That Sinks. managed to go straight into my <laughs> eye. How the hell? Holy, that hurts. I swear I didn't do that on purpose. That went straight into my left eye at distance. Whew. Whoa. How potent is that sound? Yeah, it's good lime. <laughs> I need a tequila oh, yeah, I, chaser I can after see that. how it like squirts out. Our fish is coming on nicely, which is really, really good. Fire's still going strong despite the rain. Okay, let's taste it. It's probably gonna be very sour. Hmm. Good? It's, yeah, it's really good with the lime actually. You wanna try? Yeah, absolutely. Good, hey. Uh, it's yum. Needs hot sauce. Yeah. All Chuck right. her in. How much should I put? I love it, so I'd go more than that for sure. Like this? Yes. yes. Try that. A healthy amount of hot sauce. Oof. Let's just mix it up a bit. This is where we probably need to get Uncle Mott's hot sauce. Alright, so now with the hot sauce added. That's banging. That is absolutely amazing. Simple, wild ingredients plus hot sauce. Always gotta add hot sauce. That's incredible. And that's gonna go wicked with that fish. Nice work, come on. Thank you. Seriously, that's wicked. That's good? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that is good. Tasty. Like Alright, save it for the fish, you. So the Rusty's probably got another five, 10 minutes and then we're good to go. Okay, so we're just gonna put a little bit of this in his stomach. Oh, it's so smoky. Put some in there, give him some nice papaya flavor. Should I put more? Yeah. A bit of sizzling going on in there. Him. Perfect. Cool. The time has finally come to remove the uh, jobby from his cooking pot. Alright. Go in there, like this. One big fish. And there's his eyeball left behind. <laughs> Fish eyeball with some ash. This is a uh, delicacy, I swear. How is it? Tiny bit of meat and then it's just heaps chewy. I don't mess eating fish eyeballs. So this is a little sneak peek Easter egg for you guys. Enjoy. Alright, so Rusty Jobby, he's all done. And he's not looking very pretty, but I'm sure he'll taste good. So I'm just going to put some of this delicious sauce on. Add some more. Okay. Wait, is it 
though. Mmm, that's good. That's my first try time trying Rusty Joby as well. Quite good. And that sauce is so nice. Like, I was so surprised about how good it was. Like, the lime just goes so well with the papaya and the hot sauce. So good. I will definitely take credit for the idea of the sauce, but Mon has actually been the person to create the sauce, and it's perfect. I knew that the flavours were going to work, and they have. Mon's absolutely pulled it off. Well done. Right, now we've got the uh, job fish. Time to tuck in. I'm going to take a meatier chunk than Mon did, because of... I love job fish. It's a super, super delicious eating fish. So here we go. For some reason, there's a scale in my fish. But apart from that, absolutely delicious. That is so good. I'm going to dip it in some sauce. Mm. Guys, we're going to absolutely smash this, devour it, and then probably hit the hay before the rain comes again. But thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Stay tuned for the next episode, which will drop next Sunday. I don't know what we're going to get up to because of it hasn't happened yet. But we're definitely going to go spearfishing, hopefully try and get a feed, and yeah try and make up some more nice island dishes like this we've got seven days here it's going to rain heaps it's going to be windy but we've just got to deal with it and crack on so thanks for watching stay wet stay fed catch ya